What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a list of wrestlers that I believe will be in the Hall of Fame in the hopefully near future. Let's get right into this. Up first is Randy Orton. Randy Orton is a third generation superstar that debuted in 2000. Orton became the youngest world heavyweight champion in 2004 at the age of 24. He feuded with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 21. He was part of Evolution, Rated RKO, Legacy, and The Authority. He was the winner of the 2009 and 2017 Royal Rumble. He won the 2013 Money in the Bank. He is a four-time World Heavyweight Champion, a nine-time WWE Champion. He held the United States Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, and the World Tag Team Championship. Next up is Rey Mysterio, which in my opinion is one of the greatest cruiserweights in pro wrestling history. He was briefly in ECW in 1995 before signing with WCW. In WCW, he won the WCW Cruiserweight Championship five times, the WCW Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship once, and the WCW Tag Team Championship three times. He signed with WWE in 2002, where he became a three-time Cruiserweight Champion, a two-time Intercontinental, a four-time Tag Team Champion, a one-time WWE. He won the 2006 Royal Rumble, and he was a two-time World Heavyweight Champion. He departed from the company in 2015, but returned to the WWE in 2018. In 2019, he beat Samoa Joe to become the United States Champion, and a WWE Grand Slam Champion in the process. Next up is Sheldon Benjamin. Sheldon Benjamin joined WWE's main roster in 2002, where he formed an alliance with Kurt Angle and Charlie Haas as Team Angle, and later the world's greatest tag team. He became a three-time Intercontinental Champion, a one-time United States Champion, and a two-time Tag Team Champion. He was released in WWE in 2010, but he returned in WWE in 2017. Next up is William Regal. Regal joined WCW in 1993 where he became a four-time WCW television champion. He later joined WWE where he would become a five-time hardcore champion, a four-time European champion, a two-time intercontinental champion, four-time tag team champion, and he won the 2008 King of the Ring. He retired in 2013, but he became the NXT General Manager in 2014, and he is currently the NXT General Manager, the WWE Director of Talent Development, and the Head of Global Recruiting. Next up is Bobby Lashley. Lashley debuted in 2005 in the WWE, and in 2006, he defeated JBL to become the United States Champion. In November 2006, Lashley moved to the ECW brand, where he competed in an Elimination Chamber match at December to Dismember for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship, and he ended up winning the match, making him the first African American in ECW history to win the title. In 2006, Mr. McMahon beat Lashley in a two-on-one match with Shane McMahon and Umaga to win the ECW Championship, and at one night stand that year, Lashley beat Mr. McMahon in a street fight to win back the championship. In 2008, he was released from the WWE. Ten years later, in 2018, he returned to the WWE. And in 2019, he became a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Next, we have Matt Hardy. Hardy worked as a jobber for the WWE from 1994 to 1998. In 1998, Matt was given a full-time contract, and he started teaming with his brother Jeff Hardy, feuding with Edge and Christian. In 2000, Matt won the Hardcore Championship, and in 2001, Jeff helped Matt beat Eddie Guerrero to win the European Championship. Throughout his career, he was a 11-time Tag Team Champion, a one-time Cruiserweight, a one-time United States, a one-time European, a one-time Hardcore Champion, and a one-time ECW Champion. And he also went on to win the 2018 Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy. Next up is Brock Lesnar. Lesnar debuted in 2002 and won that year's King of the Ring. At that year's SummerSlam, he beat The Rock for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Lesnar continued to have huge matches with top talents and great rivalries. In 2004, Lesnar left the WWE but returned in 2012. 
While in WWE, he has won the 2002 King of the Ring, the 2003 Royal Rumble, the 2019 Money in the Bank. He ended The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. He is a three-time Universal Champion and the longest reigning Universal Champion and a five-time WWE Champion. Next up is Jeff Hardy. Jeff began his career alongside his brother Matt. In 2001, Jeff got a push as a singles competitor, winning the Intercontinental Championship, the Light Heavyweight Championship, and the Hardcore Championship twice. Throughout his career, he became a nine-time tag team champion, a one-time light heavyweight, a three-time hardcore champion, a one-time European champion, a one-time United States champion, a four-time intercontinental champion, a one-time WWE champion, and a two-time world heavyweight champion. I also think that if Jeff doesn't go in the Hall of Fame as a solo competitor, and also if Matt doesn't, they're definitely going to go in as a tag team because they had great tag team success in the WWE. Next is The Miz. The Miz competed in the 2004 Tough Enough competition and made it to the finals. He debuted in 2006 and he had various roles before being drafted to ECW in 2007. In ECW, he teamed with John Morrison winning the WWE Tag Team titles. His biggest rivalry was in 2011 against John Cena where The Miz retained the WWE Championship in the main event at WrestleMania. Throughout his career, he became a seven-time tag team champion, a two-time United States champion. He won the 2010 Money in the Bank. He was a one-time WWE champion and an eight-time Intercontinental champion. And last on my list for today is Triple H. Triple H joined WCW in 1994, then joined WWE in 1995. He started to gain fame co-founding GD Generation X which is a huge element of the Attitude Era. He main evented WrestleMania seven times and has held a numerous amount of championships, being a five-time Intercontinental Champion, a three-time Tag Team Champion, a two-time European Champion, a five-time World Heavyweight Champion, and a nine-time WWE Champion. He was the winner of the 1997 King of the Ring and the winner for the Royal Rumble in 2002 and 2016. He was the founder of the NXT brand and has helped manage WWE since 2013. He was also inducted in the 2019 Hall of Fame as a member of D-Generation X, but there's no doubt in my mind that he will one day be inducted in the Hall of Fame on his own due to the success he had as a solo competitor and the contributions he has had with the WWE and managing it throughout the past few years. So this is my list of WWE superstars that I think will one day be inducted into the Hall of Fame because they've had huge success within the WWE. Comment down below who you think should be inducted into the Hall of Fame in the future and who I missed for this list. I know of two names right now that I missed, but that's because they are not currently in WWE. One is John Cena, who is focusing more on movies right now. And the other name is The Undertaker, but The Undertaker is still having matches within the WWE. They are just very sporadic and all random throughout the year, mostly Saudi Arabia and big pay-per-view events. But there's no doubt in my mind he's definitely going to the Hall of Fame someday because of all the success he has done in the WWE and the huge resume he has within the company. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.